Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it's a little bit different. Still on the good old Commodore 64. And this is Fortress of Narzod. That's going on the assumption that I have pronounced that uh, correctly. And uh, this is a... Uh, Commodore 64 conversion or port or whatever you want to call it of an old 1982 Vectrex uh, game. Uh, the Vectrex console was somewhat short-lived. Um, it's not because the games on it were no good. It's that it had quite a serious design flaw and apparently I say apparently because I don't know if this is true or not, but apparently um, using the Vectrex uh, uh, console meant that it was uh, damaging your your eyes. You were getting some sort of like retinal damage as a result of uh, the how bright the uh, vector graphics actually were and, and the way that they were being rendered. I don't know the full ins and outs of it. But that, uh, that seems to be the, the issue with it. I always thought that the uh, Vectrex uh, console looked really impressive. And I did like the Vector graphics that, uh, it, uh, it, uh, that it used. Uh, so I was always uh, actually quite keen to get one. But obviously I never did. Uh, in 82, I still had my Atari 2600, which was still, uh, even then, was still the best games console you could get, uh, well, which is hardly surprising, because I still think it is the best games console that uh, was ever produced. I'd much rather have an Atari 2600 than uh, in a uh, PlayStation 4 or whatever the current latest Xbox is. Is it the Xbox One? I don't fucking know. I pay no attention to consoles, so I don't even know what the fucking latest ones are called. So anyway, um... So Vectrex games, they did have a bit of a sort of cult following. And uh, as a result of that, this lot came along and they've done at least three uh, Vectrex games, which they converted to the Commodore 64. Uh, I will uh, I will be reviewing at least one more. I'm not sure about the third one. The third one doesn't grab me quite so much. So let's get a game underway. Now it's almost like for like the uh, uh, conversion. The music is different. Obviously the Vectrex console, as far as I'm aware anyway, did not have this music. But uh, well, I have a bit of a strategy as far as getting through each of the uh, stages. And, uh, well, you can see them already. The bullets that you fire, as you can see, they bounce around off the walls. And uh, they can destroy you. So you do have to watch out when they uh, come along. These particular aliens here, I do think, okay, they look a bit dodgy. Surely I'm not the only person who thinks what I think when I see them. So anyway, we got through uh, those stages. You don't have to stay on the bottom here like this. But I do. But now you get these bird things that fly along. And when you shoot them down, as you can see, they uh, form a sort of barrier. Uh, they will also fire at you. Um, I don't think they fire at you yet, but uh, later levels they will fire at you. That asterisk shot, that sort of fireball shot, as I shoot myself there, they can be shot down, so... Whoa. So the game does look fairly simple to begin with, but uh, yeah, it does not stay simple for very long. It does get quite challenging. That said, not as challenging as I'm making it look. I'm really fucking up this level. Uh, I'm not usually this bad. There we 
go. So you don't have to shoot down the birds, you just have to shoot down the aliens that appear from the uh, gateway. Now you will lose a life if the birds actually fly into you, but uh, yeah, we're okay now. So now the birds will start shooting at me. So this is where it does get rather more challenging. There you go. Oh fuck! You know that was close. So I find the best way of uh, being able to get through a level is to do what I've been doing here and just hang back and fire your shots so that it will hit the uh, aliens at an angle, like so, and then uh, you're okay from there onwards. Oh. Oh, you fuck! <laughs> ah, get out of the fucking way! I may pass, but I've still got those birds firing at us, so here we go. So now we've got the uh, boss here. This fucker is not easy, especially when, well, I haven't got very many lives left. That wasn't so difficult. Alright, so on to level two. So yeah, things uh, start getting pretty frantic now. The, the thing that does annoy me is that uh, you have to get through each level in one life. If you lose a life, you start the whole level from scratch, which is, to put it mildly, rather annoying. So, as this go is lasting a lot longer than I thought, let's get the review underway. Um, graphically, I think the graphics are fucking great actually. They may be monochrome uh, vector graphics, but so what? They, they look good. And that's, you know, surely what matters. Um, audio, you can clearly hear that the audio is not just the straight uh, port of the uh, Vectrex version. I'm pretty sure the Vectrex didn't have, you know, like a, a SID chip to uh, give it some decent music. Vectrex was capable of some pretty good sound effects. Uh, there was there was one uh, Vectrex game that had uh, a, a synthesized speech in it. But uh, yeah, the music here, I'm sure that was not in the uh, original. <laughs> Uh, the audio, you know, is still just as good as the, uh, the the visuals, and then the gameplay. I think the gameplay is fucking great. It's a decent shoot 'em up, or at least it is when you're actually paying attention to what's happening on screen. <laughs> and um, it may start fairly easy, but uh, 
yeah, it soon becomes quite the challenge. It does get pretty difficult. That was actually my best ever go. So let's have uh, one more, hopefully, a quick go. So yeah, I, I think uh, the gameplay is fine. It's there's uh, absolutely nothing to criticise uh, as far as the gameplay goes. Just as uh, again, I think there's nothing really to criticise as far as the, uh, the visuals or the audio uh, uh, go. So it does make me wonder why uh, this. Uh, that uh, conversion didn't come along until uh, 2010. And I can't imagine it wasn't because there was no demand. I'm sure there probably was a pretty good demand for uh, you know, Vectrex uh, uh, games to be uh, converted to Commodore 64. So, yeah, why, is, why they didn't appear until just seven years ago, I've no idea. But nevertheless, they're here now, and uh, and it's you know, it's their uh, enjoyable uh, well, this game anyway is enjoyable uh, blaster. Can't really criticise it. So what do I score it? Um, it gets a pretty good rating from me. I will score this game. Uh, uh, eight and a half out of ten. That seems like a pretty reasonable score. I'm trying to shoot this last fucking bird. There we go. Uh, right, so yeah, eight and a half out of ten for that one. Um, yeah, give it a go. So it brings this review to an end, and uh, we will see you at the next one.